Hello and welcome to the second part uh, of that front rim here. So let's uh, give this a little bit more detail. So go to edge mode, select one of those edges here, and then control right click, edge ring to lease to edge ring and split. And then we go here to the inputs and let's set it from relative to multi. I think two divisions here is enough. So let's uh, hit R to scale that, uh, the two edge loops. And let's bring those a little bit more to the corner to give it a little bit more definition there. So that's something that we could do later, but um, when we, and that's what we are going to do now, <coughs> when we delete, um, you know, all the stuff that we don't need and then later on rotate that guy or use the duplicate special tool, um, it would be a little bit more steps to insert those edge loops here. But you see this, maybe you might um, know what I'm talking about later on. So let me think for a second. Yeah, so I think we could go with this one. Um, I'm switching here to the side view and let me turn off uh, X-ray mode. Uh, okay, so we had 40 divisions here on that smaller piece and 80 divisions on that outer outer bigger part so what we want to do now is um delete all the faces that we don't need anymore so and um so we need one two three uh oh that was wrong so one two three f uh, four uh faces here down here so just uh drag and select those and delete those so that you only have uh, this part here and up here we need uh, four on each side so this is one two three four so we can delete all this here and uh, one two three four here this is gonna and we can delete all the rest all right so Let's check that out. Okay, that's looking all right. And what we could do is, uh, yeah, once in a while, it's a good idea to delete the history. So I got a button here for that on my shelf, um, and that's should be here under modify. Oh no, edit, and then delete by type history. And if you again hit Control Shift and then left click, you put that button onto your shelf. Okay, so with the history deleted, um, we can use our duplicate special tool. And that's under edit, down here, duplicate special. So let's check out the options. Um, I want to make some copies. That's good. Uh, let me just reset the settings here. Okay. Um, so we definitely need uh, nine copies. So we could dial in here or type in nine and we have to rotate that uh, uh, 36 degrees in uh, X, I guess. So let's check that out. Uh, so rotate X 36, and then let's hit uh, apply. And there you go. Um, that's what I wanted, okay. And now let's go to the object mode. Let's select all objects and say combine up here combine those and then yeah we have to merge a few verts here so go to vertex mode oops vertex select all those verts and then uh, go here and say merge <coughs> let me double click on that that opens uh, the options and my threshold here is set to a very low value and that's uh, always a good idea if um, you know you, you get many vertices here very close to each other. So let's just uh, say merge, and there you go. We got a single object here, and we have that thing merged. So what I was talking about earlier is um, if you hit uh, three on the keyboard, um, <coughs> you see that we with those um, edge loops that we inserted a step uh, before. So if I turn off wireframe on shaded, um, so if we wouldn't have d done this before, uh, we now uh, would have um, to go in there and do it on on every single spoke here. 
and that's uh, you know just uh, time saving all right so we got that done um, now we can um, go in and say we want to yeah give that whole uh, rim here a bit more uh, yeah definition I would say so let's uh, insert edge loop so let's take that insert edge loop tool here and let's insert an edge loop here and we could insert one there um, what we also could do is uh, yeah let me check something out so I select the, this face here and then shift and double click on the face next to it that's gonna select the face ring and now we what we could do is uh, let's just delete those okay and now we could say okay um, double click here on this edge loop here um, so on one edge to select that edge loop and then we can go here under edit mesh I was, uh, that's under mesh fill hole and we do the same here on the next edge loop so with that edge loop selected I hit G to repeat the last tool and what we could do now is because we got one face here with uh, I don't know how many verts or the same here on the back side so with that or we could uh, try to select both faces and then say uh, poke face where is that oh there so let's poke that okay that worked on, on both faces so let me turn on wireframe unshaded okay and that's what I want uh, yeah what could we do now is uh, select all those faces here um, I don't want to accidentally select uh, faces here on the back side so I take here the paint selection tool and then uh, my brush size now is a little bit too small so I hit B and then middle mouse and drag it a little bit larger okay let me go to face mode where is that can't see it okay let me hit Q to exit the tool and then again click here on uh, oh there you go um, so hit B middle mouse and drag it a little bit larger then go to face mode and just draw those faces here okay with those faces uh, selected let's hit here extrude and then I hit uh, R to scale the uh, extrusion and scale it down to a point where I need it so let's check out another photo okay so you see this little thing here coming out and that's sitting yeah let's uh, eyeball that switch back to Maya if I can there you go so I think it can be a little bit smaller like that okay and then with those uh, faces still selected I hit extrude again and then hit W to just use the move tool on that extrusion and move that out somewhere about here okay so now <coughs> yeah let's leave it like it is for now so we will um, later on um, give this more detail but not now okay so now we have to uh, create the rest of that rim so go to face mode select one face here uh, and then shift double click on the face next to it and then again let's hit extrude and I'm gonna extrude uh, in Z here so this is the blue uh, arrow something like that, something like that and then let's check out here select this face loop so what I did was again select one face and then shift double click to the next and I'm pretty sure you get the idea about this function here in Maya um, now let's extrude this guy out so I'm gonna extrude uh, again uh, in Z in this case to somewhere about here I'm just eyeballing it so like that um, okay what we need now is um, maybe another edge loop here 
somewhere about here and then uh, go to face mode shift double click say extrude and let's extrude that out so now I want to take a look from the side view as well so let me zoom in on that so this is um, let me turn on uh, x-ray mode here so that's so where's that outer line of that rim supposed to be somewhere here okay I think that's that should work okay let's um, click here on show all show hidden all and now we have to bring this piece here into position so when we I don't know but what server so I think uh, when we yeah when we combine those uh, it's uh, put the pivot here to the center of the grid again so just uh, with that object selected say center pivot up here okay and now let's uh, bring this out to a point where we need it somewhere here and let's zoom out okay so this is um, the rough shape of that rim mm. obviously we are missing the back side of it um, let me check out how much time I get left okay a few minutes uh, okay so let's try to try to create that um, go here to face mode and what I want to do now is extrude this face loop here so again one face selected shift double click to the next one and then uh, let's hit extrude and then we extrude that guy here with the blue arrow which normally is Z but if you touch this it's gonna be changing the color okay so somewhere about here I mean we, we don't see the back side later on that much so we don't have to take care about the the detail here so I'm inserting an edge loop here as you can see and then I hit Q to exit that go to face mode click on this face here shift double click to the next one so that we have the face loop selected again and then and do another extrusion and let's extrude that out to a point like this and I think that's that's gonna be it for for now so because later on here inside here we have uh, a break disk and, and and stuff like that so we won't see this part um, <coughs> okay so I think what we could have done is uh, extruding it from from this area out here so let's compare it to another image here again I don't know I think that's uh, if you take a closer look to this thing here um, you won't see it anyway okay alright so I think I'm gonna pause the video again and uh, I don't know what piece I will model next but um, Surprise, surprise. <laughs> See you in the next video.